Hello everyone, welcome back to Fight H channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for supporting me, guys. Rumbling in Jungle Second. Here, runs to stage Nagano vs. Joshua in Africa. Francis Nagano speeded at performance against WBC heavyweight champion Tyson Fury. He's reopening Pandora's box. Even farther of the carnival run of crossover clashes between boxers and MMA stars. Nagano knocked down Fury and it was competitive throughout their 10 round boat. But Fury ultimately won the fight via split decision, outlanding the former UFC champion 71 to 59. Nation boxer Eddie Hearn is now interested in being next in line to a pit of fighter he promotes against Nagano, calling for former heavyweight champion and uh, Britain Anthony Joshua to challenge the Cameroonian French Nagano. Hearn is even rewowing one of the most iconic promotional boxing slogans of all time, saying that an uh, Nagano Joshua fight will be the second coming of the Rumble in the Jungle. The iconic 1974 vote between Muhammad Ali and George Foreman in uh, Kinshasa, Zaire. AJ against Franz Ngannou is absolutely massive. It's massive. Two giants next to each other. Who knows what's going to happen? I can't even believe we're debating this. Here in the seat on the MMA R with Ariel Helvety. The money for Francis Ngannou in boxing? He only got back to MMA. The money that I know AJ against Ngannou could generate. A lot money than Ngannou got against Fury. Joshua wasn't originally interested in the gimmick fight when it was proposed to him. A lot of people's perception pre-fight was that Fury vs Nagano was farcical. Nagano's show lead showing during his pro debut has all of a sudden made him a power player in heavyweight boxing as the public is interested in seeing more from the 37-year-old. Nagano's addition to the heavyweight picture and the big money fight that can be made with him as a dance partner disrupts and uh, divides the long-desired match-ups that should be taking place instead. Instead of Hearn publicly curling to stage Joshua vs Wilder or Joshua vs Fury, he is now doubling down on Joshua vs Nagano. We are now in the position where we are debating if Nagano beats Anthony Joshua. Take my money, prove me wrong and listen, Nagano can punch, there is no doubt, said Hearn. Take my money and I will show you what happens when Joshua fights Francis Ngannou. I said 3 rounds last Saturday, but I will be generous and say 6 rounds for Joshua to beat Nagano. I got to give him respect because Nagano took a few shots early in the fight, and he seemed to take them well with a good chin. It was a close fight. I felt he won the fight by 1 or 2 rounds, but still, the functioner said. Malik Scott never wanted it to take place. Team Deontay Wilder reveal talks already ongoing for Francis Nagano clash. Why should a flat out novice in the sport of boxing be allowed to fight the heavyweight champion of the world in his pro debut? It wasn't fair, but Scott understood the business side of things. Francis Nagano was one of the UFC's most recognizable names and possibly their most dangerous fighter. After finally parting with the hulking former champ immured himself in a room with Tyson Fury and refused to let him leave until a deal came to fruition in relatively short order. The pair agreed to get it on. This past Saturday night, the mixed martial arts and the boxing world collided. From the outside looking in, Nganu was given no shot. Even Scott, who does his best to be optimistic in the most bleak of situations, did not see a pathway for Nagano that would lead him to victory. Once the opening bell rang, a perceived mismatch turned into a back and forth battle. Malik Scott sat up in his chair as Nagano floated his man with a check left hook in the second. With Fury forced to go far deeper into his back of trick than usual, Scott, the Korean head trainer of Dante Wilder, was impressed with what he saw too much so that he revealed that Nagano is officially on Wilder's hit list. He is an option now, Malik Scott said. We are already in communications about it. Nagano, by and large, is having his praises sunk from Mike Tyson to Roberto Duran. The superlatives being used to describe him are endless. Ultimately, the mixed martial arts star is enjoying the new found respect. He is garnered from his squad like everyone else is applauding the former UFC champ loudly. The next steps for him are ambitious. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video please subscribe to my YouTube channel.